Hello, my fellow ghouls. Today we will be continuing Niflheim. Now, what I've noticed in my previous video videos, <laughs> um, I'm not as entertaining as I would like to be. So I'm gonna try to change it up a bit. Hopefully, I'll be a little more entertaining than um than I think I am. <laughs> um, so today we're gonna con continue with Niflheim, Felipe's route. Um. And if I feel like it, maybe we'll start another story. If I feel like it. Because as of right now, I'm kind of happy with where we're at in Felipe's story. But I do have another game I want to play on the channel. So, but for now, let's just continue Felipe's story. And <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Also, I have music in the background because I feel like... It's more interesting that way. If you know what I mean? Like, hold on, what is that? Yeah, like, I feel like it is, um, a lot more interesting. And... I don't know, you guys get, like, a little creepy feel. Because this is, like, a... Not, like, a creepy feel, but more like, a What Niflheim is like. Because this is the type of music that I imagine that they listen to. Or, like... I don't know. <laughs> so, let's get started. Memory fragments. I suddenly became very interested in what the what King Jean was saying. Now I think about it. I can't remember much about my past life. I can remember. Ooh. What are we about to remember? Like, I'm interested in that. <laughs> over 20 minutes. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> my videos are always over 20 minutes. I can never make, like, 10 minute videos. If I did, that'd be, like, a miracle. Uh, if I start yawning, then I act, ugh, I sh probably shouldn't have taken my pills, but <laughs> my pills for, uh, this thing called depression, uh, they make me drowsy, so, meh. Let me just turn that down a bit <laughs> from my TV, but just so enough that you guys can still hear it. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Chapter three. I'm still, like, a little bit shook about the, the thing, the change. I'm like, ugh, I wish they kept it. I wish they kept the same energy, you know what I mean? Wouldn't it be romantic if we did know each other before death? What was I saying in the, previ in the, in the previous episode? What was I saying? His sweet voice whispered in my ear. Of course, an ad plays. I'm gonna skip that. Anywho, damn, there's like ads in this video for like days. So I apologize for that. <laughs> it's fate that we should be together. I'd rather take this than what my brother is playing. He's playing his music in the living room with the speaker he's borrowing from me. One that my uh, my dad got me because uh, he had like a mini one, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, it's no good. This is all I can think about lately. Damn, I look stressed. Body temperature shouldn't have been an issue for me. And yet, right then, my whole body felt hot. I thought for sure my imaginings... Must have been obvious to everyone else. I looked around anxiously. But the king continued to talk happily, and I felt relieved. Of course. Of course he would. Uh, I haven't ever really played um, his route, uh, the king's route. I just feel like he would be like a misogynistic guy who turns into like a very, who's actually like a very lovable sweetheart. I mean, I don't know, I still kind of think that, like, as he is right now, like, he's kind of like a little, little puppy. Like, bark, bark. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> and so, if there's such thing as memory fragment, little fragments, <laughs> I figured maybe it means that at some point in time, Phoebe and I must have shared a passionate kiss at some point. <laughs> Listen, I get that you like me. But we barely just met. Here, here's, <laughs> here's the issue. We just met. I don't know anything about this man. The only thing I know is that he's a ladies man. And that's kind of like a bad thing for me. That's like a no-go. That's, that's a no-go. 
Memory fragment? I suddenly became very interested in what King Jean was saying. Now I think about it, I can't remember much about my past life. I can remember my mother and father. But the rest is kind of fuzzy. So, no one has a clear memory of what their life was like? Hmm? Hmm, let me see. I think it depends on the deceased. Damn, he looks kind of hurt. King Jean looked over at Sunny as he spoke, and I followed suit. I suppose I think most people actually remember, and those who don't forget because... They truly don't want to remember, or it didn't matter in the first place. Now that's true. That's, that's, that's true. I feel like, for me, some memories that I have are... I kind of, like, keep away, like, uh stored in like the back of my head like some traumatic things that have happened or uh, mostly like from my middle school years because I can't remember anything like no matter how much I try um, to remember something I can't remember anything and I guess it was because a traumatic happened traumatic events happened during that time that I just can't remember or anything like that so, I can't remember, um, the friends that I had. I, I only just remember, like, being in the anime club, and <laughs> that was about it. So, yeah. <laughs> and I guess my brain, um, sub subconsciously was like, okay, we can't let Phoebe remember any of this, because it's gonna be, it's gonna play a huge part in her life later on. And... I can't remember anything, like, anything at all. I can't remember, like, family things I did. I can't remember... I just can't remember a lot of things. Like, no matter how much I try, it's like... It just never comes to me. Maybe when I'm older and I'm more prepared to take in any of this information than I will. But as of right now, I don't have any memory of it. <laughs> and plus, I don't want to expose too much of myself. Since uh, I don't want people to find out who I am for my personal safety and um, and just because I, I just want to remain kind of like anonymous, if you get what I mean. Oh, or it could be that someone is keeping Phoebe's memories all to themselves. He would think that. <laughs> huh? Or thoroughly because a thousand years have passed, but... That's hard to consider. I just, I think so, but if you think about it, we are we are in, we were in like a dreamlike state for a thousand years. Like we were just like I guess we were sleeping until like the point where Orlando, Felipe, and JJ woke us up, or we were just like you know like we were dead, and we only had like a little dream when they started waking us up, like. How, how we usually do, how us uh, um, ghouls do. It's like, uh, most of the time when I have dreams, it's just way before I wake up. And sometimes I do stay asleep to my own. <laughs> like, I stay asleep myself. Like, I push myself back to sleep because there's a, there's a dream that I have I want to remember. And maybe I'll... I'll tell you guys some of my dreams in a video if that's what you guys want to see to learn a little bit more about me but not so much because um the dreams don't have really anything to do with um my personal life <laughs> which I want to keep a secret and keep behind <laughs> then keep to myself you know but only a demon could possibly steal memories haha <laughs> me accidentally creating a character that's a demon for this story. <laughs> a demon? Oh lord. It's a- it's an ad. Oh my god. Okay. I reacted to the king's words, which in turn received an exasperated sigh from Sunny. She looked at me. That's right. It would be impossible for a, a normal creature to steal memory fragments and seal them away. 
But you can rest easy. There shouldn't be any demons living here in Niflheim. Okay, but why... Why not? Because, um... How I personally think of Niflheim, like, as of right now, because I never really got too, too far into the story, from what I remember, it, um, it was just mainly, I thought, like, um, people were receiving a second chance, you know? Like, the creatures who die, or, like, humans who die, receive, like, a second chance to live, because maybe someone decided, oh, you didn't, you didn't live your life to the fullest, like, how I wanted, so let me revive you, and hopefully you can live your best life for a second time. And that's what, essentially, what they're, I guess, what they're, they are. That's what, how, how my interpretation is. Maybe I'm wrong, but I, I kind of want to stick with it, because I feel like it's more explainable, if you get what I mean. Like, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> To start off with, demons only exist in legends. Okay, but you have a horn sticking out of your your front, your 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 frontal lobe, Sunny. <laughs> if anything, how I also perceive it is that heaven is one realm, Nilfheim is like another, and the Grim Reapers live in their own realm, and um, the demons live in their own realm. That's how I interpret it, because I feel like um, the possibility of astral beings and, like, everything supernatural can live around us, if you get what I mean. Because, um, because, uh, fun fact, I am a witch, though I'm barely beginning to do witchcraft, so. And I don't really have the essentials yet. I only have a rose quartz necklace with me at the moment. But it's all good. It's all dandy, you know. <laughs> That's a good point. I've been reading too many stories. Oh, but if it were me, I would want to keep Phoebe's memories all to myself. Of course he would. And I would like Vic... No, never mind. I thought you liked Or... I thought she liked Orlando. But no, she likes, she likes Victor. Hey, NTT Solar Corporation, can we get a sunny route? But like, literally make it gay. Literally, do not have it like J. He from Mystic Messenger. I want it. I want gay. It could, it could always, it could be gayer. <laughs> Quote from Thomas Sanders, because I, I love that man. <laughs> ah, could it be that you want my memories all to yourself, Sunny? No, I don't need <laughs> No, I don't even need a micron of yours. There's no need to act shy. Sending King John had an animated discussion about memory fragments. Keeping the memories of someone all to oneself? With that thought, one face in particular filled my mind and I sighed. Felipe. This is not fair on his majesty. I can't marry him like this. Are you gonna tell him? Are we gonna tell him? I'm so hyped. Like, are we gonna tell him? I can't marry you. I don't have feelings for you. I have feelings for the librarian Felipe that you know. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're gonna do it. Your Majesty. Huh? What's wrong, honey? Something on your mind? About getting married. Would it be alright if I take some time to think about it? Huh? Oh my god, I don't want to hurt him. Here, here's, here's what he looks like to me. He looks like a hurt puppy. As things are right now, I don't think I could possibly marry you, your majesty. What happened, Phoebe? Why are you saying that all of a sudden? Why do you want to put off the wedding, Phoebe? Have you got cold hands? He looks hurt. I'm sorry. You mean cold feet? I feel a bit bad seeing the king deflate before my eyes, but... But we need to stand our ground and say that we don't want to marry him because right now we're having feelings for Felipe. Even if Felipe may not have feelings for us at, at this moment, we have feelings for him and... It, and 
personally for me, I would feel so bad like having to marry like someone and then have feelings for someone else. Like that that just doesn't <laughs> If I were to get married while I'm still not sure of myself, it wouldn't be good for our future. I made up my mind and continued. Yes, get it. I believe in marrying my true love. What about me? What about me? Do you not think that I, with my pleasant and grateful nature, am the perfect person to be your true love? His eyes had begun shining at the words true love. I really do think your majesty is a wonderful person. Did you hear that, Sonny? Did you, Sonny? But Miss Phoebe has not said that you are her true love. Period. <laughs> hmm? Oh, that's true. How about it, Phoebe? So, like, there's Felipe. <laughs> I do not know myself yet. All I do know is that I don't feel anything inside when I look at you. That- <laughs> the, <laughs> the wording could have- <laughs> I feel like I hurt him. Hi, Key. I feel like I hurt him by saying that. I would have worded it a bit more, like, gently for him. But then again, he's like this, you know? What? But I'm incredible. Well, that sounds about right. Damn, Sunny, she said. I don't care. And your majesty has many others that you like other than me, don't you? Oh, um, yeah. And that. Oh, Sunny. She said, Phoebe's right. <laughs> I don't know much about love, but I think one's true love is supposed to be just one person. They, they are? He looks like, he looks like he's pondering about it. And then, <laughs> Sunny, <laughs> don't ask me. Sunny said loudly in response to the king's reaction, then... Well, that is the gist of it. She looked fed up at this point. Alright, I am king. I won't force any lady against her will. I am a great king. Period. <laughs> That's it. I want to draw King Jean <laughs> as a feminist. I want that. I need to do that. In my style, like, I- Ooh, it, it's- it's settled, guys. If you guys don't see it on my Instagram or my Twitter, then hassle me about it. I'll be like, I'll draw it soon. <laughs> Majesty, your hand is clenched so tightly, it's shaking. You're imagining things, Sunny. But the king was indeed shaking a bit as he turned hesitant- hesit hes <laughs> I can't- speak today oh my god this was like my friend yesterday when we were playing a monster prom i want that game so bad once i get it it's over for everyone else <laughs> but the king was indeed shaking a bit as he turned hesitantly to me and asked but if you do have the inclination you will marry me won't you well i guess it's not really the inclination so much as a feeling of which tells me that you are my true love. The king perked up at that. I won't rest until you do, then. By the way, what kind of man is your type, Phoebe? <laughs> Felipe. <laughs> I advise you to think long and hard about how you should answer that one, Miss Phoebe. Felipe. <laughs> Go with the standard ideal of Orlando. I, I, I'm only attracted to Orlando by his looks, if I'm being completely honest. Only because he, like, bullies JJ, and JJ does not deserve that, like, one bit. Then, then one, no one can re replicate JJ, period. I've never played JJ's route. I've only ever played Felipe's route. But JJ seems, like, irreplaceable, like, period. Like, not a- Ooh, I love him. Okay. So we're going to be honest and say Felipe because, you know, it's the truth. Period. Having been asked what my type is, I immediately think of Felipe. I shake my head to get the idea out of my mind instead of focusing on the 
prints from the book. Someone who is very direct when they speak of love, with tender words that make the heart shiver. I see. He's he's he wasn't smiling at that one, <laughs> but now he is. Then I pre then I shall present you with the sweetest words you can possibly imagine. Wait one moment. Is he gonna run out of the room? And <laughs> he he's trying so hard. I, I admire his like <laughs> his passion to have me love him. Like that's what I adore. Like he's so cute. Little puppy. That's what I think of him. He's like a little puppy and it's so cute. Oh, he reminds me of my little pug. <laughs> yes, I have a pug. His name is Wally. <laughs> though I would have loved to name him Aries, though. But it's already too late. <laughs> the king smiled happily as he took down a note on what I said, but I didn't feel anything special towards him. Hmm. After hearing everything, I have decided that you cannot help but fall in love with me. It sounds like this conversation is a lost cause. Period. What? How did that happen? I know. How about this then? I'll woo Phoebe by using a lot of sweet phrases like the prince from her story does. Good luck with that. I was about to say that too. But it's like, it's because um, I feel like we can only imagine it's Felipe. I don't know how. I don't know why. Because I could also imagine the other characters saying it, like, you know, like, Orlando, Victor, Skeletiano, uh, Daniel, you know, all those other good characters that we're going to date. <laughs> I realized something while listening to the king and Sunny talk. Rather than thinking uh, that his majesty isn't my true love, I'm starting to think there might be something wrong with me. Do not think that. Like, it's, it's how you feel. Princess Phoebe, is there any way you could accept my love for you? Are, am, I, am I really going to force myself right now to fall in love with the king and then like ignore my feelings for Felipe? But then in the end, it's like, I'm like, no, Felipe, I want you. Ugh, oh my gosh. My heart was full. And in turn, I no longer felt hungry either. I made my apologies to the king and quickly exited the dining hall, retiring to my own room. At the same time, King Jean was finishing up his own meal. I may have never held the reins of a horse before, but I cannot allow a gorgeous filly like Phoebe to be led astray. There's never been another like you in the history of Nefelheim, and I mean that in a bad way. <laughs> oh, damn! What do you mean? Isn't that what it means to speak sweetly? Philippe comes in like, hell no. <laughs> I'm calling it a miracle right now that your majesty has not yet disgusted every female you have ever spoken to. Oh, Orlando is really roasting him. What do you mean by that, Orlando? Why don't you try it then? Oh, challenge, eh? I'm sorry, but I don't have any more time to spare on your fr frivolities. I must return to my work. What is Orlando exactly? I'm gonna look that up later and then put it right here because I don't want you guys to like waste your time because I know that there's I, I watch Mr. DJ's like <laughs> uh, Mr. Uh, his mystery box uh, on like unboxing videos or whatever they're called the whole like deep web dark web whatever and um there's this one guy who's like comment 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 what this means comment about this like, what do these numbers mean? Blah, blah, blah. So he get, like, I guess, gain more attraction to his video with the comments. I don't know if that's how it really works, because... <laughs> I don't know. I don't... I'm not a huge, like, person who looks at numbers or anything like that. I mostly just, like, worry about how I'm entertaining I am and how I edit my videos and... And, uh, art I need to do for thumbnails of when I, um... When I do certain videos... Like, I have one of me that looks surprised, but I don't know <laughs> which one I'd use it on. Maybe, like, I don't know. I just have to find a game. If any of you guys have, like, a story-based game that is free that you want me to play, I will happily play it. Just, you know, 
message me. I really don't mind. Like, you, you guys can message me. You get back here right now, Orlando. <laughs> Orlando left the audience chamber with a calm look on his face just as Skeletiano was coming in. I'll leave this in your hands, Skeletiano. Um, pardon me if this is slightly presumptuous, but... Oh, Skeleton, what is it about my sweet nothings that people don't like? May I ask why your majesty wants to speak so sweetly all of a sudden? Phoebe has started saying that she doesn't want to marry me. <laughs> he looks shook. <laughs> what? So I promised her I would become the kind of man that can whisper sweet nothings to her just like she wants. What? Don't shout while well, you're shouting. I'm sorry, but for you to speak sweetly? Do you know any good lines? There's no point in asking me. You have to find the scream that is lurking inside your own dead self. Period. I don't- I don't know, that's why I'm asking. And what do you mean the scream? I don't get it. I need a plan. Give me one. Come on. If y'all looked at the- at the spelling. <laughs> and if you don't know what I'm talking about, you're too young to be here. If you want material, I would suggest you try reading one of Felipe's romance novels. Period. I can't read anything that I'm not the hero of. I, I just can't get into it. How self-centered. How self I'm so flabbergasted right now. My jump bone nearly dropped right now. <laughs> it did. Look at it. But if I do read a story, I have to be the hero. Or, or else, what's the point? I'm just too op awesome, so there. The king seemed to have an idea. Something that... In now the rattling Skeletiano's eyes could only mean trouble. Damn, Skeletiano said, I don't I don't wanna do this. <laughs> I love him. Is that the end? Oh no, we're in our room. I returned to my room and delved once more into my book. You are always trying to act more princess like, princess, but I think you are perfect just the way you are. Even when you go running through the fields of fair barefoot. What a wonderful prince. I spoke the lines out loud to savor the words, making myself giddy as I bounced around the room. If King John is listening on the other side, he's like, ooh. Okay, I know what to say. <laughs> You're the light of Nevelheim, princess. It's only fitting that you should be a bit of a tomboy. I mean, I, I kinda am, but I'm... I'm starting, uh, in this point in my life, I'm starting to become more girly in a way. <laughs> I remember at one point in my life that I was, like, full-on tomboy. I did not want to do any makeup. I did not want to wear skirts, anything like that. And now at this point in my life, I do makeup looks. Um, I, uh, I dress a little girly. Like, I have more of a fashion sense than I did. <laughs> my previous years of life <laughs> anyways his soothing tenor voice and soft smile the reason I keep imagining Felipe as the prince must be because he wrote the words I mean that could be it I should have thought of that I felt bad for using his image for my own fantasies but in truth it did get my unbeating heart racing I guess it can't hurt for the moment Oh, this is called Fairyland. That's cool. I escaped into a world of my own making, closing my eyes to immerse myself within the story. Where am I? Cold drops of rain fell around me. And through that rain, someone was coming towards me on a horseback. Felipe! I yelled to him the moment I could make out his face, but he didn't seem to hear me. This is another dream, isn't it? <laughs> This, the scene I had read in my book played out in perfect detail in my mind. Felipe was injured just like the prince from the story. But even that doesn't stop him from moving forward. I won't ever let your smile die. I promise you that. 
In order to protect the promise he made for his beloved to his beloved princess, I felt a twinge of annoyance at not being able to do anything as I watched him go. Honestly, me too. Sometimes I have dreams where I'm like not myself and I have to be the one watching. I have like weird dreams, man. <sighs> Perfect timing, actually. Because <laughs> I was starting to get a little bit tired. See, I told you guys my pills make me drowsy. Next day, the king had asked me to see to see me, but I was so tired I could not contain my yawning. That's not very ladylike, princess. Excuse me, Sunny. I love you, but excuse me. Oh, sorry, but what does his majesty want all of a sudden? I asked Sunny just before I heard the sound of the king's cheerful voice approaching the audience chamber. Ha 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 ha! I bowed as King Jean entered the room. When I looked up, I saw I saw that Felipe stood behind him. Oh, Felipe! Hello, princess. How do you do today? F Felipe grinned, and I couldn't help but smile back as the king's cheerful voice reached me. I'm going to have a book made for you, Phoebe. A book for me? That's kind of sweet. <laughs> if anything, that's like very sweet. I cocked my head, unable to grasp what King Jean meant by that. I promised you, remember? I said I would present you with my sweet words. Oh, yes. I thought back on that conversation before putting two and two together. Surely Felipe is writing a book for me. Oh, <laughs> I clung to that slight hope, balling my hands into fists. The king's cheerful voice echoed once more. It's going to be full of romance. Just like we want it to be. A story just for you. Just for me? Philippe was to write a story just for me. I wanted to say the words out loud just to taste the sweetness of them. I glanced over at Felipe, who wore a troubled kind of smile on his face. Felipe? Felipe knelt, knelt gracefully. He said it's not easy just to write a story, but I don't... But I want to read it. I want to read it a lot. And it's going to be kind of a smutty... That's it, guys. Uh, I'm ending this episode right here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm like, damn. Okay. And it's going to be a kind of smutty story, too. Aren't you curious? Kind of smutty? Oh, this princess is innocent. Meanwhile, me, I know exactly who. <laughs> a moment for my dreams where Felipe and I kissed played out in my mind. No, well, maybe a little curious. My voice grew unusually loud, and both the king and Felipe looked shocked. Why? See? See? Phoebe agrees with me. Damn. <laughs> I should have kept my mouth shut. <laughs> Please, Felipe. Okay, but if it was me, I would be like, I don't want him to write a story for me if he doesn't want to write it. Like, if he feels inspired by a certain, like, event or something that we have together, then, like, sure, go ahead and write it. But, like, as, um... A future writer myself, future author. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to be forced into writing a story because I take a lot of time to write at least just like one chapter. Like it takes me at least like two weeks max or a month. So yeah, essentially, uh, I don't want to force him at all. Um, pretty much. Please, Felipe. He looks so hurt. Felipe seemed unsure for a moment as he thought to himself in silence, but then... All right, I'll write it. You will? Yes. So you will... You will take it on? Why didn't you say so in the first place? The king stepped between Felipe and I. Of course he would. I couldn't say so at first. I... At the start, I thought your majesty was only wanting it f was only wanting it for yourself, but if it's if it is the will of the princess, if you both want this, then I don't mind taking out my pen 
That's what I thought. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Honestly, like, what kind of book will he write? I'm looking forward to it, Felipe. To have you write a story just for me? It's, it's like a dream come true. I'm honored by your words. Hold it, hold it, hold everything. The king cut across our conversation. Write something good, and don't forget to capture just how awesome I really am. Oh, he won't. The annoying Felipe, he's, he's kind of like a little, he's, he's, <laughs> he's like, he can be, I feel like Felipe would be the type to be kind of like, um, can like get you back, if you get what I mean. Like he's like a little prankster. Just like I feel like Skeletiano is. Like <laughs> you you know what I mean? Like a savage basically. So it's a story where his majesty makes an appearance? <laughs> I'm hurt. Well, that won't be hard seeing as I am the perfect king with absolutely no faults at all. I can think of a couple. <laughs> Can I go now? <laughs> me too. Are you even listening to me? Oh, well, be quick about writing it. No! 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 It, it will be my pleasure. Felipe, don't even say that. I'd be like, don't rush me or else. <laughs> Period. Because if I was Felipe in the story, like, let's say you guys are the princess right now, and I was Felipe, but I'm, <laughs> I'm a skeleton lady writer. <laughs> Just how I am. And and the, he asked me to write a story about you two. Oh, man. <laughs> I would be like, don't rush me. I need this because I always want my stories to be perfect, like full of detail that you can just like immerse yourself within the story. So like be patient. If it takes me, if it takes me a year, it takes me a year. If it takes me, you know, a while, then it takes me a while. It will be my pleasure. And with those words, Felipe rose and left the room. Felipe. My heart panged as I watched him go. He looks unhappy, even from behind? I mean, it could be like his shoulders like kind of were like a little slouched. That can indicate like he was a bit sad or the way how he walks. It's because I notice how when I'm upset, I tend to walk like a little loosely in my opinion if I think so and then I have like a little serious look on my face I kind of always do especially when I'm in deep thought but I guess my eyebrows are like um have like that little upturned look to it that make me look sad <sighs> that's one less thing to worry about the king Sunny, and everyone else left the room after him but but what did I do did I run after Felipe because I so would I'd be like Felipe you don't have to write the story if you don't want to boo the next day I was so concerned by how Felipe had seemed as he left the day before that I could not concentrate on my history lesson I am so sorry that I'm yawning you guys are probably yawning too about how I'm yawning I'm sorry <laughs> but Scaliciano didn't seem very cheerful either what's wrong? yeah Scaliciano tell me what's wrong you're my best friend right now Skeletiano was usually in high spirits, so I felt a bit worried when he let out an unusual long sigh. I'm not sure if I should say this to you, princess. What is it? After I asked Skeletiano, After I asked, Skeletiano paused to look around the room, searching before answering in a slightly depressed manner. The truth is that Felipe has to suspend working on the novel he was in the middle of writing no that sucks that sucks as a writer i feel that pain as an artist i feel that pain <sighs> just putting something that you have that you were working on like in the middle and then someone tells you to stop writing and do something for them like for me being a kind uh, like being a kind person that like my friends and my family say I am it's kind of like oh I have to do this for them just to like make them happy because I like making people happy it's it's a it's, it's part of my personality I guess I never like seeing people upset unless it's um 
assholes. Period. Any, everyone, this is your water break. Feel free to take a sip of water, which is what I'm gonna do now. I just finished my water. <laughs> That's sad. And I'm gonna record another video after this. <laughs> Ugh. What? He said he has another story he has to work on. Could that be? I recalled my last discussion with Felipe and the King and felt bad about it. And it is meant to be about you and his majesty. It's supposed to be kind of smutty. He can say that with a straight face, but I can't. What? His majesty and I? I'm sure it would be fine if it was a heartfelt story, but Felipe didn't seem too keen at all. Yeah, there's the thing. <laughs> Again, as a, as a future writer myself, who has ideas for novels about like mystery, <sighs> fantasy, all that, all that jazz, um, sometimes when I don't feel like a passion to write, I won't write it because sometimes I'm just like, ugh. But then sometimes I do and end up pushing myself to write it because I feel bad about not writing anything for that particular story. So it's basically like a cycle of me just beating myself up <laughs> and then just me like being lazy. <laughs> I didn't know the story was supposed to be at his, about his majesty and I. I think authors find it very hard to create something they don't want to write about. Period. <laughs> this is where all the essays come in that I did not want to write unless it was about something that I was truly passionate about. Like, there was an essay I had to write about kneeling during the pledge, like, you know, the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag. But, uh, <laughs> my, uh, <laughs> my new pledge is Donald Trump is a white supremacist, full stop. If you vote for him again, you're a white supremacist, full stop. That's my, that's my pledge. And it was about kneeling, and I think it's right to kneel. If any of you disagree, then, uh, sorry about that, but, uh, I think kneeling is fine. Because it's, it's a protest against police brutality. And along with, like, the Black Lives Matter movement at, right now, it seems... It's... It's just, um... Damn, I want to cry. I don't want to cry. Because I was already crying for three hours straight about the whole Black Lives Matter movement and the people who have who have suffered from it and the people who have suffered from poli police brutality. And it's hard. And as a... As a person who has many friends of... Who has mer many black friends, I don't want any of them to be hurt or... You know or to suffer, because that is not... <sighs> that is not something that I, I wish upon anyone. And I don't wish anyone to be hurt severely like that at all. But, unfortunately, it happens. It happens, and... Yeah, I... I am going to leave some places where you can donate to the Black Lives Matter movement and to help people because that deserves to be everyone on everyone's um that deserves to be on everyone's minds right now. It would it it just cannot be a trend and just like walk away all of a sudden. I'm still fighting for them. I I have signed petitions. I have done what I can. Because as of this, <sighs> yeah, uh, I, yeah. So I will leave places. I will leave some links down in the description about it. I can't even form my words right now. Um. Yeah. Let's uh. <laughs> let's <laughs> let's get back to it. You're right. What exactly, what exactly happened there, princess? 
As I was talking to Skeltiano, I came to realize that despite it being a, a misunderstanding, I was still feeling guilty for have done something horrible to Felipe. What can I do? I thought to myself. We have to go. Go where? To see Felipe. I have to fix this misunderstanding and apologize to him. I don't understand one thing about what is going on, but one thing I can't say is go. Period. Huh? My romance senses are tingling. They're telling me that you should go. <laughs> he has romance senses, but it's cute. His bones rattled as he laughed. Thank you. I'll be back later. I heard from the castle, running to on my way to see Felipe. I thought that was going to be the end of the chapter, but I guess not. <laughs> I arrived at the library where Felipe worked on, on my own. Okay, I was reading it again because I was like, what? what? <laughs> I arrived at the library where Felipe worked on my own, but I still didn't know what to explain first. First, I'll need to apologize to him properly and clear up this misunderstanding. But what should I say? I took a deep breath and practiced what I might say, walking towards the wall as I did so. I'm sorry, Felipe, I just wanted... I tried to find a suitable reason, but everything I could think of sounded like lame excuses to me. No, I need to be completely honest with him. I was scared that he might find me uncouth, but I tried to talk myself into it anyway. I was curious to see what a kind of smutty scene with, with you... And it might be like Felipe. Just then a voice hit me. What? I knew it. I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> My entire body twitched as I turned around. Period. <laughs> I fully knew that was going to happen. He would hear it. Or, or, it's someone else. There's no way, there's no way anyone else could be at the library, right? There's like... No way. Because that would be weird. <laughs> okay. To wrap this video up, I hope you guys enjoyed this chapter. Chapter 3 of Niflheim Felipe story. The main story. Um, let me guys know what you think about this. About this chapter down in the comments. Even though I don't really like saying that <laughs> right now as of this moment. But yeah, um, links in the description will have, um, will, <laughs> will be so that you can help uh, the Black Lives Matter movement. Um, it's, my sources is going to be from Miss, it, it's Keisha? I was going to say Miss Keisha, but then, <laughs> but then sometimes in her, in her intro she's like, I wish I was Miss Keisha, the iconic one from the Vine, and... Oh, I love that vine. Anyways, um, yeah, uh, I'll leave that in the description, and I encourage you guys to help, help, um, to help out this movement because it it, it is important and it is, and it just it's one step to bettering our world and yeah. Especially with all these, like, racist TikTokers apologies, and I'm like, ugh. Disgusting. Ugh. Like, little huddy? Like, what the f- Ugh. Disgusting. <laughs> um. But yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, leave a like. Um, do all that good stuff. Um, and I will see you all in the next video of whatever I make. Maybe some ASMR reading some Edgar Allan Poe story? poetry maybe some ASMR reading of Milk and Honey by Rupi Carr <laughs> yeah um, I have uh, plenty of ideas for what I want to do f with some ASMR um, stuff mm, yeah <laughs> that's about it of what I wanted to talk about I hope this video was entertaining for you guys because I tried to make it a little more entertaining I'm sorry if it felt annoying please criticize me on that in the comments below because I I definitely accept criticism unless unless it's like freaking like 
if it's not criticism. Like, you know what I mean? Like, the freaking hate comments of, like, blah, 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 you know? <laughs> I love you guys. I'll see you all later.